see how to convert Excel multiple sheets into a table. Okay. So for to show the scenario, I will just to open the my workbook here in the download. Let's go to the demo and let's open the workbook here. Okay. So uh, in my workbook, I have the different sheets like one, two, three, four. And in your case, you have the n number of sheets. Okay. So what we have to doing now? Okay. So in some of the sheet, uh, my data is in the rows and column format. Okay. Not converted into the table. In some of the sheet, uh, the data is converted into a table. Okay. In like you can be see. So we have to convert this all the sheets data into a table so we can be use our get excel data table to get uh, the values of uh, these uh, table values okay so how to do this let's uh, check okay everything we done by dynamically okay uh, first i will show you how it's work okay so let's uh, upload our same file here okay save and test let's import our file let's we import our demo one Okay, and let's open it and uh, run our flow. Add done. So our flow is running. Okay, let's uh, make it full screen so you can be see little bit. I can be zoom out. Yeah, so you can see our flow is run successfully. Okay, uh, this is the uh, one of the error we are created manually okay so you can see in the third step okay table is created here our flow is fail and in the last step okay so our flow is run successfully okay so i will show you the output of this okay so we let this is few seconds i go our workbook so now you can be see in our sheet one Data is converted into table in sheet two also, sheet three also, and sheet four also. Okay, so also the name of the table is same as like our sheet name. Okay, and this is of our fourth sheet table, and this is you can be see our table. So how to achieve this? Let's be see uh, step wise. We will go and create instant cloud flow. Give name to that and for Excel sheet into table and let's uh, select the manual trigger okay and let's click on the create. So in the input, let's select the file. Uh, we go to the next step okay in the next step what we have to do we have to use create a file okay let's we create a file in the one drive okay create a file uh, select the folder path in our case we will create the file in the root okay file name you can give any file name okay so i will use the file name of our trigger body so let's we tap trigger body and let's copy this and we add a note here file name we go in the expression just type paste it and click on the ok don't worry i will provide these expressions in the description box as well as in comment box okay so from there you can be taken let's we click file content let's we go to the next step the file is created now now we have to use our second action okay so in the second action we will go to apply to each before apply to which we have to uh, get the workbooks okay in the excel means how many workbooks are present there so to take that we have the get worksheets okay means okay uh, which sheet uh, we have to convert the table this sheet one sheet two sheet three or sheet four 
that's why we will take the sheet names here okay location just select the one drive for business document library select one drive and file let's select the id so we will get the worksheet on the basis of this let's see tables okay all the sheets into tables so that's why we use apply to each okay let's click on the apply to each click on the value click on the action click on the excel and create a table so in the create table give the location one drive for business library one drive file select the id that we are created file already table range okay so how to get this table range dynamically okay so in the our graph api we have one endpoint here okay like you can be see worksheet used range okay so on the basis of this we will guess the range of our sheet okay on the basis of our sheet name let's see in this is the http request that we have to use to get the id and we will get the response in this format like address and address local at values okay range of our table in the address okay so let's uh, we will go and uh, now we will in this case we will use http with azure ad in our flow okay so we go uh, search for http with azure ad let's select this invoke http request paste the uh, base resource url okay to paste the basic resource url you will go paste it just paste it and sign so we are signing okay we will use get method the request we have to put okay so we will go and uh, use the same request okay from here let us see in the this okay so we have microsoft endpoint at the red drive item id workbook after that worksheet id or name and used range okay so this uh, we have to use here uh, if you have you can be go with this so we will use this uh, uh, graph api endpoint with this address okay so this is our endpoint okay let's save it uh, first uh, i will delete this let's select all and delete Taste it. Import our file demo one open let's click on the run done so our flow is run successfully now you can be see the request is fetched successfully and we will get our address okay this one so we want this address only so we will go edit after that we will use create table action here create excel and the 
टेबल सिलेक्ट द टेबल लोकेशन सिलेक्ट वन ड्राइव फॉर बिजनेस डॉक्यूमेंट लाइब्रेरी सिलेक्ट वन ड्राइव फाइल सिलेक्ट द सेम फाइल आईडी हेयर टेबल रेंज ओके सो हाउ टू गेट दिस टेबल रेंज ओके यू हैव टू गो टू द एक्सप्रेशन बिफोर गो एक्सप्रेशन इज गो टू योर बॉडी कॉपी द बॉडी एंड लेस पेस्ट इथ हेयर रिमूव दिस रिमूव दिस एड क्वेश्चन मार्क एड दिस गो टू योर ग्राफ एपीआई एंड पॉइंट copy this so copying this we have to go to our power automate flow and paste it here address it is in ports click on okay one more time click okay so for expression is written let's save the it we also have to give the table name we'll go in the dynamic content and select the worksheet name let's we go to the wonder select the file delete the file and let's uh, it's taking some time click on this delete and let's go to the power automate and uh, oh before we do this we have to go to the apply to each run after configuration has failed done means if any table is present so our flow is failed correct to overcome this we will use run after configuration and let's uh, save our flow now and test it state manually space import import demo open the file run so now you will get one error here but your flow is run successfully so now you can be see our uh, flow is run successfully okay this is our uh, http request okay from the address we will get the uh, address okay from which sheet and uh, range up to which we have to convert to the table okay so on the basis of that we are converted our excel into a table created a table you can be seen first step in the second step also it is run successfully and we have created table in third step you can be no uh, in our third step our table is already created so here our flow is failed and we will jump to the second last step okay so here you can be see our flow is uh, all the table is converted here you can be see in the sheet 1 table is converted sheet 1 we given name in the sheet 2 sheet 3 and for the sheet 4 as well now i will just add one more action here and let's uh, get uh, data from table action so you can be see we can be go and take the excel we will take list row present in the table we'll go here one drive for business document library one drive file we will select the file here give the workbook id or we will give this id anyone you can be give table so we will go to this enter custom name and then we will paste it here so and we have to go here we have to click on yes and uh, if i did a one minute delay here okay let's go and the check our flow we'll test it manually okay let's test let's uh, import our file okay import 
import the demo let's click on the demo demo file is same like demo one i just changed the name let's click on the ok let's see our file is created successfully or not so demo is created now you can be see it will wait for the one minute okay so i just cut the video yeah so now you can be see our first action is correctly run okay let's we go to the second second is also run we go to the third okay in third table is present so it fails and we go to the fourth so fourth is also run successfully and this is our last and we get our table data that's all about friend if you have some questions suggestions for me you can drop in the comment box okay if you have some questions you can be uh, ask and if your uh, suggestions are always welcome okay if you have some suggestions for me yeah please thank you keep learning keep going growing